MOSH, Motion and Shape Capture from Sparse Markers MOSH jointly captures human motion and body shape using existing marker-based mocap technology. By combining shape capture with motion capture, MOSH automatically creates animations with nuance and lifelike realism. Existing mocap methods use markers on the surface of the body to estimate an underlying and unobserved skeleton. Nuanced motions, present in marker data, are treated as noise and the resulting skeleton-based animations look lifeless. In contrast, MOSH estimates body shape, pose, and soft tissue deformations directly from sparse markers. The result is a lifelike animation. MOSH automatically estimates precise marker locations on the body from a mocap sequence. We roughly place the markers in blue on a template body. We then jointly optimize body shape, pose, and marker locations. Body shape is represented by a scape model that can capture a wide range of body shapes and poses. During optimization, the body shape changes and the optimized markers in red move. We compare body shapes estimated for subjects in the CMU mocap database with reference video. A standard set of 47 markers contains sufficient information to estimate surprisingly realistic body shapes. Once shape is estimated, we fit the body pose directly to marker data. We applied MOSH to approximately 700 CMU mocap sequences from 39 different subjects. Given estimated body shape and marker locations, we solve for pose throughout a sequence to bring the predicted markers into alignment with the observed markers. Accurate body shape leads to more accurate pose. The animation is driven entirely by the markers, which contain subtle details. Because we do not compute skeletal motion, we do not lose the marker information. MOSH is fully automatic, does not need a body scan, and can work with any marker set. MOSH effectively extracts body shapes and motion details from archival mocap data. Standard marker sets are designed for skeletal motion capture. We found that the additional 20 markers, shown here in orange, improved shape and pose accuracy when combined with the standard 47 markers in yellow. To evaluate the accuracy of our estimated body shape, we captured high-resolution 3D body scans and standard mocap for 20 subjects. The shape, estimated by MOSH, is shown in comparison to a reference image and to a template mesh that was precisely registered with the 3D scan. While finer details are missing, body shapes estimated using a sparse set of 67 markers look remarkably like the subjects. MOSH effectively turns a mocap system into an approximate body scanner. Part of being human is that we jiggle when we move. Animating this soft tissue motion is important for realism, but capturing and modelling such motions is difficult. Previous work uses hundreds of markers, or computer vision-based systems. Instead, we capture soft tissue motion using sparse marker sets and existing mocap equipment. To do so, we simply allow the body shape to deform over time, while penalising deformations from the shape estimated without dynamics. This is surprisingly effective. Note the marker motions. Green are the observed markers, and red are our predicted ones. On the left, these are mismatched when the soft tissue deforms. On the right, MOSH changes the body shape to more closely match the marker motions. The inset body in the background shows how body shape changes over time. This split screen compares a fixed body shape on the left with the changing body shape on the right. Note that the body shape on the right changes to capture the motion of the chest. This results in a more realistic animation from markers. In this more extreme example, significant motion is present in the chest and stomach. Note that our body model is trained from bodies in static poses. The parameter space of natural human shapes, however, is rich enough to express shape changes due to soft tissue dynamics. Changing someone's body shape effectively approximates these soft tissue motions. While even the 47 marker set is able to capture some dynamics, we obtain more realistic deformations with the extended set of 67. Our soft tissue deformations correspond to directions in the space of human body shapes. We vary the amount of deformation along these directions to either attenuate or amplify the effect. We magnify the 3D motion to varying degrees by exaggerating the soft tissue deformations. This provides animators with new reference material or a tool to create new effects. Since we have a parametric body model, we can change the body shape and simulate a new person performing the same motion. Here, the nuance and realistic motion of the original dancer is transferred automatically to a very different body shape. We can also retarget MOSH to stylize characters, as long as they share the same mesh topology as our body model. We align meshes from the internet with our body model, and then simply transfer the part rotations and soft tissue deformations from MOSH. 
we select human actors with similar body shapes to get believable soft tissue motions. The lesson of MOSH is that one should always capture and animate what is visible. Traditional mocap takes visible markers, then infers an invisible skeleton and uses the skeleton to drive visible surfaces. In contrast, MOSH automatically estimates metrically accurate body shapes directly from sparse marker data. This results in nuanced and lifelike animations that include soft tissue deformations, addressing one of the main critiques of current mocap technology.